Oh, it's a very wet one today. I know, shock horror. So let's get into it. Put your ghost in every text and call. Tell me what's the hold up, baby. Tell me why your phone's off. Lately, I don't wanna go off crazy. But I think right, I'm here in the beautiful English countryside, and today we're talking all about author websites. Look at this place. This is absolutely soaking wet. Right, nearly managed to escape the swamp. Oh, okay, we're out. Not fun. Um, but yes, we have escaped the swamps, which is good news because in my last video, I asked people to send in links to their websites so they could get feedback from me. And I've had a few come in um, and we're gonna take a look at those today. Specifically, um, what are they getting right? What could be improved? Um, and how do these websites support the author's main business goals? And that's the most important question, and I'll explain why. Right, here we go. Attached to a tree, hashtag countryside. So important thing about author websites, or well, any website really, is that it has to meet a very specific goal. So a lot of authors will throw up a website because they think they have to without really thinking about why the website needs to exist. So any website, especially author websites, needs to do really one of two things or both. The main goal, of course, being to help you grow your business long term. And it does that in two main ways. The first way is helping you grow your email list. So if you're offering a reader magnet or some kind of free incentive to get people onto your email list, your website needs to be able to advertise that, get people excited about it and provide a mechanism for them to sign up and get onto your email database. And the second main goal is, of course, to sell more of your book. So your website has to be able to present your book catalogue in an attractive and professional way and make it really easy for readers to find out what the book's about, why they should be excited about it, and then give them links where they can go and buy it. And this is where a lot of websites kind of fall down because they lose sight of those main goals. So looking at a page on a random site, you might be wondering, well, what is the point of this site? And that's really the main issue that a lot of authors have is figuring out how to implement those main business goals. And as we talked about in the last video, a website really needs to nail a few key pages. So first is the home page where people are gonna be stumbling across you. You need to be able to, to communicate your main call to action as quickly as possible, but also give people other interesting stuff to look at that's still gonna support your business growth. You also need to look at landing pages where you can send people specifically to sign up for your email list where there's no distractions or other stuff to click. And then book pages as well. So being able to showcase your catalog, making it easy for readers to filter through different genres, pen names and series if you have them and find exactly what they're looking for and where they can buy it. And then another key page is the book delivery page. So if you're using reader magnets and you're offering people a free ebook, you need to be able to deliver that once someone's joined your email list. So that's another key page on your site. And in the previous video, we went through all of those main pages and I showed you what they kind of need to look like and how they need to function. But that kind of sets the context for what we're going to be looking at today. So the websites that people have sent in for me to have a look through, um, I'm going to be thinking about these things in my head. You know, are these websites offering a clear goal? Is there a clear call to action? Does it function? Are the aesthetics professional? Does it kind of work on an aesthetic level? And can I easily see what this site is all about? Can I sign up for an email list and can I buy stuff? And is it a pleasant experience? So I'm going to try and be as subjective as possible because of course when it comes to design, it can be a very personal kind of process and what someone might think looks great, someone else might think doesn't, but I'm going to try and apply the main goal of having a functional site that leads to a very specific call to action and any kind of design choices that detract from that, I'll pick up on. And anything I think that these authors could do to maybe improve things a little bit, I'll mention that as well. So that's what we're going to look at next. Just have to find a way out of here first. And while I'm wading back through the swamp land, um, a couple of quick announcements. I also appear to be surrounded by stinging nettles. Uh, you really don't want to walk through these if you can help it. Let's try around here. Oh, stay. So two quick announcements then. Um, the first one, if you enjoy the crispy fried goodness of today's 
bubble and squeak of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button underneath this video. Um, not only will YouTube tell you when I have a new video out, but it'll also tell the YouTube algorithm what kind of content you enjoy so it can recommend similar videos to you. The second announcement is for Black Friday, this coming Friday the 29th, we are offering a very special deal on our AuthorCats author website software and service. In a nutshell, you can get a professionally designed website that would normally cost thousands set up for you for a fraction of the price. And for Black Friday, we are ditching recurring payments as well with our special lifetime deal. So for more info on that, check the description. But for now, we're gonna head back to the office to check out some websites that authors have sent in for review. So let's get going. Tell me what's the hold up, baby. Tell me why you're bold up. Lately, I don't wanna go up. Thanks to Mrs. S for the accurate accolade. Right, office. Are you being honest? So uh, let's have a look. Uh, here we go. So first of all, Savage Wit. Let's have a look. Writepop.com. Let's have a look here. Okay. So first thing I'm... Okay, I've got a few things here. So looking at this, and this is a problem a lot of people have, is getting the main goal or call to action of the site absolutely nailed down. So looking at this... The headline says stories, writing tips, reading, and then the headline image. I love the cover, by the way. Cool cover. But the book says inspiration overdose, too many ideas for science fiction, horror and fantasy stories. But what does that mean? Is this fiction? Is this a writing guide? Um, I'm not sure. It says you won't be able to think about anything but your next story. Just writing and writing until the sun explodes. I don't know what this book is. Let me click on it. Let's have a look. Um, right. Okay. So here we go. There. This book is designed to get rid of writer's block for good. Put that here because I don't know why I would be interested in this book at all. Um, so that would save that. And that's a fantastic cover as well. I love it. Uh, same with the headline as well. What's the main point of this site? Is it for readers or is it for authors? If it's for both, can we split it up somehow, make it a bit easier? If I'm coming here and I don't know why I should stick around, I'm not going to, basically. So I would really narrow that down. Um, other things, uh, the design is simple. Um, it's, I'd say, probably a little outdated with these sort of outlines and curved edges. I mean, it's legible, which is awesome because so many sites aren't. It's clean. Um, I'm not a massive fan of the font choices and the color scheme, but I mean, that's not necessarily the be all end all. It's a subjective choice, but there's, I think the main thing is really nail down what it is you want people to do, what, what this site is for. Um, and if you have a sign up call to action, which you've got here on the right hand side, if that's the main goal, um, put that as the headline. So for example, on my fiction site, I want people to sign up for my mailing list. So I put the offer front and center. Um, same with on the nonfiction side, you know, I'm very clear about what this site is for. Um, uh, take control of your audience and build your first 10,000 readers. The main call to action is video training. In this case, it's right at the top. I would definitely narrow down who this site is for and what people can get from it. And I think you'll see some big improvements, um, in terms of design, Again, it's a subjective thing. It's fine. I think you can do a bit more with it. I think some, like with the, the text, is spanning kind of like the whole screen. Uh, and people do struggle reading sort of full width text, which is why um, a lot of websites kind of narrow that down. So you've got this kind of column set up. So it's a lot easier to read. Um, this wouldn't be an issue on mobile, but on larger desktops, it's a bit of a problem. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I mean, it looks fine. I just really, really would narrow down what it's for, who it's for, what people are going to get, have that clear call to action at the top. Um, and that'll make a huge difference. So, um, I think it's all a case of narrowing stuff down. Uh, okay. Let's move on to the next one. Um, Gary Daniels, uh, so let's have a look. So he's got GC Daniels and he's sneaking in a second one as well, but we'll let him off. Here we go. Uh, so GC Daniels, children's book author, uh, again, oh, he's got, this is good here because we've got the, the main call to action is at the top. Um, that picture was quite slow to load. So you might want to have a look at that. Um, also from a legibility point of view, I can't really read that. 
So you might want to think about what image you're using there. Um, but yeah, this, because it didn't load, I didn't see it, but this slider here, I personally hate sliders because it, again, it's the choice paradox, you know, just pick something and put it there. <laughs> you could always swap it out. Sliders just mean people will click through and go, oh, I, I don't really, I don't care about any of it. But if you have one thing that's interesting, it's a lot more effective. So I would just lead with this, download the first 10 pages for free, and then have a big picture of what it is people are going to get. That would make life a lot easier, um, I think. Uh, I can see this is on a WordPress site. I'm guessing WordPress.com potentially. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but let's look at the book page itself. We've got some blog posts underneath here, but I think this is your main book page. Uh, so yeah, this is more like it. So um, whereas this one had the random slider, um, this one has the main call to action at the top. Very clear. Subscribe to download the first 10 pages. I can click that. Uh, taken through to uh, what looks like a MailChimp sign up form. Uh, yep, that's fine. For privacy policy points, for especially if you're marketing to people in the EU where everyone's really prickly about everything, um, you want to have a privacy policy on here somewhere that just says something like, when you subscribe to my mailing list, I will send you marketing materials. Here's a link to my privacy policy. That usually covers you. Um, if you do a Google search for GDPR for authors, um, you'll find a video I did all about this. Um, which is super fun. Also check your dates as well, because it's not 2018 anymore. Um, I love the cover, by the way. It's very cool. And again, as I said just a minute ago, um, having the text in a column is easier to read as opposed to sort of full screen, full width. That's brilliant. Uh, this is nice and clean. And you've got some testimonials in here that look quite nice. This image, I don't like this image. So you've got digital images of the cover all the way through. And then just here, and here you've got a fairly low quality photo of it. <laughs> so I would swap that out for just a flat cover image. It looks much better, um, in my opinion, much cleaner. And again, check your dates at the bottom. And you need a privacy policy if you are going to be collecting emails. Um, let's see, Maggie. So Maggie Lynn Heron Heidel. Um, dot WordPress.com. Here we go. All right, so this is a WordPress site, wordpress.com, free WordPress site. Um, you'll notice some people have their cookie policies and privacy policies that pop up. This is another EU thing. They're very irritating. Uh, another downside of WordPress is you get these horrible crummy ads on your site as well, like down here. Like I'm not interested in that. Go away. So I always say, you know, if you can get yourself your own site, you know, find some hosting somewhere, install WordPress yourself, and then you control it rather than using wordpress.com, which is just like a free blog platform. Um, and it's, it covers you in these awful ads that, I mean, who wants to click on, they're, they're horrible. Um, otherwise, you know, it's, it looks pretty good. Um, I'd say um, I'm not a massive fan of having text within images as your headline, because um, depending on the size of the screen, um, it might not scale properly and at a higher resolution, it gets quite blurry. Um, I always like to see instead, um, we'll go back to this example again, if you can get the text actually written as text and then have like a wallpaper behind it, generally tends to work a lot better. I mean, you've got some very cool covers, so it kind of works here, but it's, it's taking up the full screen. So again, like I said earlier, what's the main call to action here? because you're not giving me anything. You're just giving me pictures of your covers, which are very nice. Um, but you need to be asking people for something at this point, either buy this book or sign up for an email list or something else that's going to help you grow your business in some way. And you've just got covers, which is fine. But what am I supposed to do with that? You know, apart from scroll past it. And then we get to the main kind of um, juicy bits down here, which is where the call to action is. Join my VIP warrior club and I'll send you my best selling book as a free gift. That's what we want at the top with a picture of the cover of that book. Okay, so War Machine, call to action, that's what needs to be at the top with a button where they can sign up. Um, and if I click through again, I've got this wall of covers I don't know what to do with. Um, and now I've got um, get a free copy of Still Death. Now this is what we wanna have on the homepage um, because it's, it's getting confusing now. So you've also got a call to action for people to follow your blog, which is different from joining the email list. Um, and then you've got the free book and then what well, I've got to click this little link here, which is going to get lost. 
um, and then it's onto the landing page. So really, if you can um, get this page onto your home page, so get that up here. Uh, like we've got here. So that's my sort of landing page area is right at the top of the home page. If that's the main goal for you, um, or at least a link to it, like you've done here, but move that to the top and get an image of the cover in so people know what they're getting. Otherwise, they're just not going to find it. They're not going to click on it because they can't find it. Uh, let's see, Carol Brunger. Let's have a look. I'm so happy all of these are loading and not just like exploding the internet. It's really helpful. Um, here we go. So when I land on... Um, Carol's site, I get this pop up immediately, which means I kind of want to leave. Um, I don't like these. Um, there's something you can do called an exit pop up, which is where something like this will appear as people try to leave, which is kind of useful because they're leaving anyway. But these kind of immediate pop ups get on my nerves. Um, Google doesn't like them either. So if you're trying to rank for keywords and you have pop ups like that, Google doesn't like it. Uh, cool headline. I assume the books are about Vietnam. Yes, brilliant. <laughs> so it's a relevant picture. That's good. Uh, but what we've got here is um, there's a book coming soon, but I don't know what the book's about. I don't know what the cover is, um, and there's nothing else on this page. Um, so I have to then click through to other stuff if I want to. I mean, by this point, I think the majority of people will probably have gone, but let's click through anyway. Uh, okay, so here's the book, and here's the synopsis. Um, so we want this here on this page, please, where people can see it. Um, and then you've got some other stuff on the right. It's a little odd that you've gone for the two columns of equal size. Uh, it looks like a blog layout, but you'll see from most blogs have a two or three column kind of situation. Um, but most blogs, and this is for a reason, will have a wider content and then a narrower side uh, sidebar. Uh, because we want people to focus on the content and then there's other stuff there if they want. Um, you've got it both the same, both full kind of half screen. So my attention is kind of going back and forth. And when attention gets distracted, you lose it. And this is this is the problem. So I would really take this whole purchase button and put it underneath the synopsis. And then all of this stuff I would either put at the bottom or shrink it down to a much smaller sidebar. Um, if you can. Um, so that's definitely what I would do. So let's have a look at the books page. Um, now, what I would like to see is a page with all your books on. I don't know if you have that. I can see I can click through to individual ones, um, but I really want to see all of your books laid out so I can have a look through them as well. Uh, we've got the about pages, which are fine. Um, it's so often worth reiterating the call to action. So get this book for free or buy this book at the bottom, but that's not a deal breaker. Uh, I think the main thing here is homepage, get rid of that pop up because it's not helpful um, and have the details that you have on this page um, here um, if you have them. So if come if going home is, is, is written, if you've got the cover and the synopsis, get it on here. Otherwise, put something else there that's a better call to action. Try to get people onto your mailing list. Try to get them to pre-order something. Um, just a very clear call to action would be super helpful. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, it's it's legible. Uh, the pictures are nice. The font choices are nice. The colors are nice. It just kind of needs that focus, which is kind of missing. And magic of story. Let's have a look. Ah, okay. So um, who's uh, Connor? Connor is using AuthorCats for his homepage, which is cool. We'll talk more about that in a second. Uh, but this is what I'm talking about. So this is what I was showing you on um, my main site here is having that really clear goal at the top is really, really helpful. And it actually makes this page convert a lot better. Um, and then you also have the ability to create specific landing pages. So something like this where they can't click away um, and then they have to join your email list or leave um, is very, very effective. So this is why we've designed AuthorCats to look like this. Um, I think this looks really cool. So there's, uh, what I like about this is we use a lot of kind of space. So we don't try and cram everything together, um, which kind of helps open things up and make it easier to see what's going on. Um, Connor, I would reconsider this lemon color you've got here. Quick tip with color schemes, um, there's something called color wheels. Basically, the basic theory is um, colors that go well together are opposite um, or right next to each other. 
And that's what we want to go with. So if you want a um, complementary color to go with this dark blue, you'd want to find the color wheel dark blue here um, and then go opposite to get the color that kind of goes best with it. So it's going to be something in the yellow to orange or orange sort of area um sort of those autumn colors are going to go quite well with this so as you see here like the uh, the yellow you've got in the title um contrasts nicely with the blue but there's sort of washed out lemony white color doesn't really work so i would go with um an earth color an autumn color or go with a neutral color like a gray just to kind of make that look a little bit less strange and that's just my opinion but i think that that color is not the best um, here as well. 100 greatest movies. Uh, I would put an overlay on this image because that's slightly hard to read. Um, so in author cats, you can go behind the scenes. You can add like a color overlay to these images just to darken it so you can read that text a bit better. Um, but I'm curious now. 100 movies. Yeah, very nice. I would say Evil Dead 2 is better. Official. <laughs> uh, otherwise cool. And let's see. Um, click through to again we don't have a books page um i think maybe you only have one book but let's get a books page going so if i click this um where's it going to take me so it's it's loading all right so it's taking me to a different site now for some reason um oh, okay i'm getting animations now i'm just going to say this i don't like waiting for animations um i don't like websites that play music at me so I don't want to sit there. I would rather that just loaded. Uh, that's kind of just me, though. Uh, you also seem to have a broken image down here. Not sure what that's all about, but that's broken. The text, well, we have a different font. So in the previous site, we had one font. And on this site, we have another one. I'm also getting a not secure notice here. So you need to um, try and get HTTPS on here if you can, um, but it's currently not working. So your certificate is down. Um, so whatever this site here is, get it um, certified for secure internet. Uh, that font doesn't really match the headline font. Um, so it's very slick. These animations, like they are quite slick. I like, I like that one that it just kind of appears. I'm not a fan of this sort of falling into the screen thing that's just kind of me i don't think the dagger is is lit right compared to the rest of the scene um again i i personally prefer static pages i think they're neater and they tend to load better um but those are just aesthetic opinions it links through to the right place got a cool cover um so generally uh, i think that looks really cool um let's see um do we have anybody else oh here we go voinks have a look so we have a another wordpress site okay so this is wordpress.com again free blogging platform i would always recommend get your own website your own hosting if you like wordpress put wordpress on it wordpress.com it's free but you always end up paying for something like a proper url or extra options you might as well just get your own site because then you don't get um, these scammy, crummy ads on here. Like, I just, I don't want that on my site. Uh, cookie policy again, get rid of that. Um, so yeah, it looks like you formatted this as a blog. And again, we're missing that call to action again. So top of the site, we want to see why is someone here? What can they get? How can they get it? So if you want to grow your email list, here's a free gift, sign up here. If you're trying to sell something, it's like, here's the new book. Here's a link. What we've got here is just a blog. Which again is fine. I have a blog as well, um, but remember from when I showed you previously, the blog still has the call to action at the top. So nonfiction, you want that call to action. Fiction, you want that call to action. By all means, have the blog, uh, have the blog underneath, but have that call to action at the top. Uh, you've got picture of mountains. Um, is that relevant? I mean, I don't know. This is the problem because I don't know what your site's about. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I've been scrolling up and down it. I still have no idea what kind of books you write um, or what you want me to do. Uh, I mean, it looks nice enough, but it's just not telling me anything yet. So I have to click through to the books link, which isn't hugely um, visible and um, more ads pop up because of WordPress. So bye bye. Uh, OK, so we've got some book covers here. We've got what looks like uh, a thriller type book. 
um, fantasy and sci-fi. Um, somebody loves all the genres. It's cool. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, nothing about the mountains kind of reflects any of these books. So I would kind of consider changing that. Um, quick tip as well, if you want some cool images to use, head on over to unsplash.com and you can download high resolution royalty free images for free. So if you were say, let's say um, what I would change about this then, if I was pushing, uh, let's say story of a country boy, um, then I'd want to find something that was relevant to London in the 1960s. So I might put um, London and see what happens. Atmospheric. I mean, there's some cool stuff here. I mean, that's awesome. Uh, you could take a crop of that and you could use it um, as, as your headline here and then have um, books as your homepage. I mean, that could be a very simple tweak. Um, but again, I want to see a clear call to action. And that call to action needs to be in line with your business goal. So either growing your email list or selling books is what you want to be aiming for. So when I land on a site that's just a blog and I don't know what the blog's about, um, I'm going to leave. And I don't like these ads. I've said it a few times. Uh, but if you're going to go to the effort of getting a website put together and if you're using wordpress.com, chances are you're going to end up paying to get rid of the ads, paying for the extra plugins, paying for a custom domain. So, I mean, for the sake of $5 a month or so, get your own hosting and just control everything. And that's going to be a lot better for you. Um, I understand the tech can be a bit overwhelming for some people, but that's what website themes are for. You know, get yourself hosting, get yourself WordPress installed on there. Any hosting company you go with, they usually have a button you can press that says install WordPress. It takes five minutes and then you just install a theme. Um, and then if you can make it look like, um, as I've explained with the clear call to action, um, that's going to be really, really helpful. And for those of you who have multiple books as well, having a books page where you can see the whole catalog um, in one go is going to be extremely useful. And you know, especially if you have... Um, dozens and dozens and dozens of books. Maybe you've written as many as Pauline has, as I'll show you here. Uh, Pauline's using our author cat's theme. Um, you'll see she has loads of books in loads of different genres and she lets you sort them by genre or by, uh, by series name. So if I want to look at science fiction fantasy, I can click on that um, and it will show me all of her books there. If I want to go to time travel romance, then all of her books show up there as well. So um, that's really cool. So um, I also haven't seen any landing pages on these examples yet. So I really want to be able to see um, a, a page on your site that you set up specifically for collecting email addresses. So the home page should be able to do this as well, but you want a specific page um, like this one that you can send people to when you have control. So if you have a book on Amazon and um, you have a reader magnet inside, um, I'll show you what that looks like. So with my book Wanted, when you click inside the book, so if anyone's downloaded this or purchased this, they'll see at the front um, an offer for a free book and then they click the link and they're taken through to my landing page. Not my home page, my landing page because there's nowhere else for them to go. They click the link, they sign up and they're added to my list and then I can follow up with them um, in an email and I'll show you what that looks like because I then deliver the book to them on my site. So they can come to this link after they've signed up, they get this in their email, they click that button and they can choose their device uh, and all the instructions for loading that onto their device are there. So that's kind of where we're trying to get to. And you can see it's possible to do um, with free blogs like wordpress.com, but you end up paying for the features anyway, so you might as well get your own site and get rid of these ads, um, which are never fun to look at. Um, but I mean, those are a few examples, and um, hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of where small tweaks can be made um, that make a big difference. Now, I've, I've given some opinions on aesthetics and colors and pictures. Feel free to ignore me. You might think something I don't like looks great or vice versa. The main thing is the function. When I go to a website, can I tell within the first five seconds what I need to do next? It's the key thing. So that's the main reason you want to really nail that is because your website needs to match your business goals. And the way it does that is by either helping you grow your mailing list or selling those books. So that should be the main headline of every page that you send people to really. Um, so as I mentioned earlier on, um, we have our very own website theme called Author Cats, 
which is designed specifically for authors that has all of these functions built in. We've got um, landing pages like this one. Uh, we've got book delivery pages like this one where people get dynamic instructions depending on what device they're using. Uh, we have uh, built-in homepage kind of block designs. So you can get a homepage that looks like this, but you can swap the blocks around and have it look different. You can change all the images, you can change all the text. Uh, we've got these book catalog pages like I've shown you where you can filter through and you can click through to the books and then you've got some nice links in here where people can go buy them. It's all clean, it's all nice, it's all functional um, and it's all in one. So there's no kind of need to buy third-party software or plugins. All works together and our concierge team will set it up for you as well. So basically you're getting a website that looks like you spent thousands on it for a fraction of the price because we are offering a special lifetime deal for Black Friday starting Friday, the 29th of November. Um, all you need to do is join um, up on the wait list. And I'm just gonna move myself over here. Um, so head on over to the link underneath this video. You'll see the wait list. There's a short video up here that just leads you through kind of the main features. I and mean, if you're interested in getting hold of this, uh, basically the deal is this, sign up for the wait list. We'll tell you when it opens, there's 100 spots available. Our concierge team will do all the setup for you um, and you'll end up with a website template installed that looks a little bit um, like this. So we have a few different options um, for templates. This is a light one. Uh, we also have a dark one as well, which I'll show you just here. And we have another one. Uh, so this is the dark one. So it's the same kind of similar layout to show you how it all works. Um, and we also have a bright one as well. So any of these three templates, whichever one you like the best, um, will install on your site for you. And then all you have to do is pop in, change out the book covers, change out the text for something um, that's yours, of course. Um, and then you're good to go and your website will be up and running very, very quickly. And we can even set you up with the staging site as well so that you can do all of this without publishing your website. So if you wanna move from your old website to a new one, we can set that up in private for you and then transfer it all over when it's ready. Again, that's through our concierge team uh, and that's all included as free. So instead of a monthly or annual charge as we normally have, we're offering lifetime pricing for Black Friday um, from Friday through till Monday the 2nd. So if you're interested in getting that, so no recurring payments whatsoever, um, all the support and concierge stuff included for free, um, then just make sure you join the wait list click that button, um, enter your details in here, and I will send you all the info, including a link where you can get hold of it on Black Friday itself. So with that being said, um, just to cap off the end of today's episode, a big thank you for everyone who sent their links in. Um, I hope the feedback was helpful for anyone who you know, is watching this and they're thinking about their website and wondering you know, what needs to go where. Um, hopefully today has given you a kind of a good idea of what that needs to look like and how it needs to function. Um, so I'm hoping that was useful. Thank you. A big thanks to everyone who sent their links in. I hope I got to them all. Um, I know it's a bit nerve wracking kind of putting yourself out there, um, but I hope I've given you some helpful tips. So huge thank you to everyone um, and to everyone who's watching as well. Um, and just to finish off and say goodbye, we're going to head back to the English wilderness. This is always the fun part. Whoa. I think this bit might be a bit flooded. And that's it from me for today. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to get a website set up with our very special Author Cats lifetime deal, check out the link underneath this description. But that's it from me, and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Tell me what's the hold up, baby. Tell me why your phone's off. Lately, I don't wanna go crazy. But I think I'm losing it. Tell me where your heart is. I think I'm losing it, 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 I